Now let's take one case specifically. Suppose my a0 and a1 both are 0 that means my word line 0 is high and when my word line 0 is high because it's an active high decoder word line 1, 2 and 3 all are going to be equal to 0 and they are all NMOSes so if this is 0 that means there is no input, no input, no input that means all these transistors at this point of time are going to be off. Fine. This is on. This is on. Even before this happens, you know what's happening? Your P1, P2, P3 and P4 all are transistors are on because their input which is nothing but a PMOS has its input grounded so all are on. So initially you have D3, D2, D1 and D0 all to be equal to logic high value. Does everyone agree to this? Because this is on, so D3 would be VDD, D2 would be VDD, D1 would be VDD and D0 would be VDD as well. So we understood that before my case 1, all 4 of them were towards VDD. In case 1, we saw that for word line 0 or what is the data in row 0, correct? Can anyone help me now? So now this transistor is on and so is this transistor. So when this transistor is on, we know that there is nothing but simple circuit like this where this is how it's going to look. This A being 1, so this is on and this is on. What we discussed was wherever there is an intersection of the row and the column, here the row is the word line and the column is the output line of your NOR, there is an intersection and there is a transistor present. So we discussed in the basics that we want to zero there. So if this transistor is trying to pull the output towards VDD, this is trying to pull it towards ground and we want the output to be equal to zero, technically that says that the NMOS should be stronger than PMOS or in simple words W by L of NMOS should be greater than W by L of PMOS for us to get a value which is closer to zero. Presume we have designed it that way, then at this node we will get a zero. Now let's see here, is there anything present? No, nothing and initially it was charged to 1. So D2 will stay to 1. D1 again the transistor is present exactly the same phenomena will happen. So this is trying to pull the output towards VDD, this is trying to pull the output towards ground and will make this N more stronger so this will also be 0. And again there is nothing present here so this will be 1. So data in row 0 is given by D3, D2, D1 and D0 which is nothing but 0, 1, 0, 1. It again gives us the verification that wherever the transistor is present at the intersection of the row and the column, I can have my 0 at other places where the transistor is not present, I will be able to have my 1 which will be written. Let's go ahead and do for another row as well. So data for row 1, let's do that now. Again D3, D2, D1 and D0. Is there anything present here? Nothing is present. Fine. So this is nothing but 1, correct? Now don't get confused that now D3 has gone to 0. So how did it become to 1? Because when this word line went high, correct? This word line went off. So this transistor again was off. So again due to PMOS, D3 went to 1. So keep that in mind. So D3, 1, D2, a transistor is present now. So this transistor and this transistor will behave like this circuit and there will be a 0 at D2. At D1 also the same phenomena is happening, so 0. And D0 there is nothing present, so it's a 0. Let's quickly go ahead and do it for row 3 as well. So button for row 2, again D3, D2, D1 and D0. So is there a transistor present? No. So if there is nothing present, write a 1. Transistor present, yes. So 0. Not present, so 1. Present, so 0. Similarly, we can do it for D row 3 as well. And there is nothing but a classic example of how the ROMs are written. Very, very straightforward. 